everyone. Thanks Hello. for coming along. Um, yeah, well, I think most of you have been here, apart from two, two new people at least. Oh, no, that's okay. What we do is our monthly meetup, the Simpson Electronic Experimental Meetup with me and Clive. And Sarah and Reese started up here. Yeah. Woo! And tonight we're pleased to have Mr. Ian Hanwell. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Machine maker, inventor, and uh, filmmaker. And he's um, got a few films tonight. The main film is a passport electronica. It's a French art, I'll let you. Yeah, say more. Yeah, just to give you a bit of background on uh, how the film uh, came into being. In about uh, 2009, I managed to find uh, an email address for one of Fred Judd's sons. So I've got a, a seven-inch record of Fred Judd electronic music, um, and it was something of a mystery. I just I knew that name, FC Judd, um, and he was a British electronic music maker, but I didn't really know any, any more about him, and I was yeah, very intrigued. And then it was just a chance discovery on the internet, found this email address, so I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, it was um, Fred Judd's son from his second marriage. Uh, he, he, did, he did reply, Peter Judd, that was. Uh, and he put me on to um, Fred's widow, Frida. So I contacted Frida and uh, she, was, she was very helpful on, on the phone. And she was sort of saying, well, what are you, what are you kind of interested in? What, what, are you, what are you doing? And I said, oh, well, I thought I might make a film. Um, and she said, all right, fine. And then when I finished the conversation, I thought, oh, I'm, I've never made a documentary before. <laughs> and, uh, oh, no, I'm gonna have to kind of uh, make one now. Yeah. Uh, but I went up to, she lived in the north coast of Norfolk. So I went up there on the train and um, yeah, she was very helpful. And she had some real time tapes, uh, she had some, a little bit of tea film, quite a few photographs, um, a few books and things. So I knew there was some, a reasonable amount of material there that I could, I could use, but there was no, there was no moving image of, of Fred in, in, in action. Um, and she'd had a flood. The, uh, the, to see it come over, and, and uh, all the tapes had got absolutely drenched. But she, she had them all along the uh, skirting board in the, in the living room, and, and she got a big uh, dryer out, and she, she sort of dried out these tapes. And there were cine, a couple of silly films as well. Actually, I went up another time um, when, when she, she gave me all the tapes, and then I subsequently gave those to the British Library Sound Archive. Um, but then on the second visit that I went, I was sitting in the chair, she said, I want a cup of tea. And then I felt something down the side of the chair, and then there was a real serial tape there. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> that. She said, oh yeah, you should take, take that one as well. Uh, and so I started to, to, to make, the, make the film, started to try and put it together. Um, so I transcribed various tapes. It was not on the, on the reel to reels, there was not a lot of electronic sound, really. Um, just a few sort of sequences, but there were some quite good bits of Fred's voice. So any any relevant bits, I tried to weave those into the into the film. And originally, I thought I was going to have some some interviewees here and there. Um, and I interviewed um, Andrew Partridge from XTC over the phone, and he, he was he was good, uh, quite interesting. Uh, I, I met um, I think it was the editor from um, Practical Electronics magazine. Or practical everyday electronics uh, in Bournemouth, um, but he wasn't particularly interested in electronic music. So I, I was I was focusing the film, although it's, it's kind of Fred Judd's sort of story, but it's it's really Fred Judd's involvement with electronic music is what it's what it's all about. Um, so eventually, I just decided, well, it's, there's not a lot of point in having any interviewees, really. I, I, I don't, in general, I don't really like documentaries when they have archive and then they have some talking head, some uh, irritating pundit who comes up and starts to pontificate about something that they, they're not really an expert in. Um, so I, I did, I, I wanted to avoid that anyway. And I, I was trying to get some kind of backing, some sort of producer to help, but no, no one was interested really. And I, I, I'm just not very well connected really in, in that sort of filmmaking world. I just made kind of short experimental animations and abstract films. And so I, I don't know anybody in the, in the in the sort of serious world of filmmaking at all. So eventually I, I thought, I'm not going to get any money for this. I'm not going to be able to afford to license any of the footage that I want to use. Um, so, well, 
in that case, I'm just going to make the film exactly how I want it, not, not worry about it whatsoever. To put all the stuff in, all the stuff that would probably cost thousands to license, and, um, and just make the film exactly how I want to make it. So it ended up being an hour long, um, which, which I've only ever made a sort of six, six or seven minute film prior to that, so it was, a, it was quite a big thing. So it took, took a couple of years, so, so from two, late 2009, it was, it was finally finished in about 2011. Um, but I got a friend, a friend of mine who's a school teacher, and uh, I was saying, I'm, I'm looking for someone to narrate it. She said, Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Ah, oh, great. And she had quite a good voice. So I thought, Right, yeah, okay, you can do it. So we recorded, I'd written all the script out. And I've made lots of tape loops as well on, the, on, on Real to Real. Um, so, that, so some of Fred Judd's music, some of my music, and there's a little bit of um, archive music from um, uh, Dutch electronic music, Tom Distelot and Dick Winemakers. Because Fred um, was quite well connected with some European uh, electronic composers at the time, but particularly um, Tom Disabel. Uh, there's a there's a box set, a really great box set actually, of um, uh, Dutch electronic music um, with Henk Maddings and um, Dick Winemakers, Tom Disabel. And there's a right at the end of the like, this box set, there's a little audio letter from Fred Judd to Tom Disabel. Uh, so there's a little bit of I use a little bit of that in the film. It's, it's quite uh, melancholy, actually. It's quite buoyant because Fred John's saying how um, unsupported British electronic music was at, at the time. Um, uh, so there, there, there was some silly films, some, some little bits of Fred um, out in the field doing some recording. Uh, and then there's a brilliant bit in his home studio as well. And that, that was a fantastic find. Oh, well, there were two fantastic finds, actually. One was this uh, studio sequence in his, in his house in, in Woodford, East London. Uh, and it's not, it's not Fred, actually, at the controls that you see in the, in the, in the film. It's, it's one of his sons from his first marriage. Um, I had a tip off this week from Fred's great grandson uh, that one of his sons lives in Whitstable. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it was, <laughs> I was hoping that he might be able to turn up tonight. So. If, if an old fella does turn up in any minute, it might be him. Uh, That's old bar. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice. And when the, uh, well, the, uh, that, so that was one, uh, one sequence that I, I, I tell you, Sydney, and, and include that. And then uh, another reel had Fred's uh, chromosomics. I won't say too much about that, but you, because you'll see it in the film. But to find the, the whole um, standard reel of, of uh, chromosomics as the sound visualization system. Uh, that, that, was, that was brilliant, so um, there's, there's quite a, a substantial sequence of, of that. Um, and that, that was the other thing about making the documentary, being, it not being uh, produced by anybody. I, I was just free to, to edit it exactly how I wanted it. If I wanted something to last a, a long time because I really liked it, I, I would. Was, you know, I had no pressure to, to have to cut it you know, quickly and um, make sure it, it fits into a certain kind of length. I did actually, um, not so long ago, I went through the whole film again and I, I cut out about three minutes. So it's, it's, uh, it's 57 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't sound, it's actually quite a lot in, in um, kind of screen time terms. Uh, three minutes does, does last uh, yeah, <laughs> quite, a, quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah, one other thing to say is during the course of making the film, I did shoot some Super 8. Um, and in the end, I didn't really need to use it because I sort of had enough footage to, to cover to cover what the narration was describing. So I, I shot one of um, Fred Judd's sound effects discs on the uh, contrast label. There were two uh, two labels, uh, Castle and Contrast, and this was a contrast um, sound effects disc. So I put it on a little um, a little portable uh, record player that I've got, and I'd filmed that from various angles. Um, and so I thought, oh, I don't really need to use this now. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just make an experimental short film out of it. So I, I covered it in bleach, um, and, it, and it, uh, quite, quite a lot of the emotion com completely disappeared, but there were some still nice bits of emotion left and some very nice effects, I thought. So I made a, an experimental film of contrasting sound, and then I used lots of um, sound effects, basically, some from Red Jaws, some from other, other sources. And so the soundtrack is just all these all the sound effects and just shots of this record. So we're going to watch that one first. So that's about four, four and a bit minutes long. And then we'll go straight into Electronica 
um, yeah, 57 minutes, and then, uh, then I can come back and um, do, do a Q&A if you've got any questions. Yeah. Yeah. Some questions. And then, uh, then I'll have to shoot off because I've got to get the last, last train back and get back to Brighton. Yeah. Um, so well, I, won't, I won't really stick around, but um, yeah, if, if we can have a, have a little chat after yeah. the film's finished. And we'll be uh, improvising with the Fred Judd in mind. Yeah, it's well. Judd themed. <laughs> <laughs> Practical yeah. electronic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.